हेलो एवरीवन वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल बीट द नीट एंड कैसे हैं बच्चों आप सब लोग एंड आई होप कि आप सभी लोग बहुत अच्छे से अपनी नीट की तैयारी अपना रिवीजन फाइनल मोड पर कर रहे होंगे और उसमें आपको हेल्प कर रही होगी डेफिनेटली एक क्विक रिवीजन पॉडकास्ट सीरीज जिससे आप लोग अपने चैप्टर्स को फटाफट दस से पंद्रह मिनट के अंदर पूरा पूरा चैप्टर रिवाइज कर ले रहे होंगे एंड सून यू आर एबल टू रिवाइज होल बायोलॉजी ट्वाइस इन आर डे बाई दिस पॉडकास्ट सीरीज सो आज हम करने वाले हैं क्लास इलेवेंथ का रिस्पायरेशन इन प्लांट्स और आप अगर मेरे चैनल पर नए हैं और आपने अभी तक रिवाइज इसको सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो कर लीजिए एंड इफ यू फील दैट दिस सीरीज दिस काइंड ऑफ सीरीज आर हेल्पिंग यू सो डेफिनेटली प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड ऑल्सो शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स हो दैट दे विल ऑल्सो गेट द बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस सो चलिए शुरू करते हैं रिस्पायरेशन इन प्लांट्स इंट्रोडक्शन सबसे पहले देखेंगे हम कुछ भी नहीं छूटेगा आपका एन का जो नीट में आने वाला है आप पूरी तरह से इस पर ट्रस्ट करके सुन सकते हैं और अपने पोर्शन को रिवाइज कर सकते हैं बिना देरी के जल्दी से शुरुआत करते हैं सो ऑल लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म नीड एनर्जी फॉर कैरिंग आउट डेली लाइफ एक्टिविटीज लाइक एब्जॉर्बन ट्रांसपोर्ट मूवमेंट रिप्रोडक्शन और इवन ब्रीदिंग ऑल द एनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर लाइफ प्रोसेसिंग इज ऑप्टेन्ड बाई ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ माइक्रोमोलिक्यूल्स कॉल्ड फूड सेलुलर रिस्पायरेशन इज द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ ब्रेकडाउन ऑफ फूड मटीरियल विद इन द सेल टू रिलीज एनर्जी एंड ट्रैपिंग इट For synthesis synthesis of ATP, the process takes place in the cytoplasm and in the mitochondria. The compounds that are oxidized during this process are called respiratory substrates like carbohydrates, protein, fats, and even organic acids. The process involves a series of slow stepwise reaction controlled by enzymes, and release energy is trapped as chemical energy in the form of ATP, which is broken down whenever and wherever energy needs to be utilized. Now the next. do plants breathe or not so plants have a system in place to ensure o2 availability that is stomata and lenticles for this purpose each plant part takes care of its own gas exchange needs there is a very little transport of gases from one part plant part to another roots stems and leaves respire at rates far lower than animals do most cells of plants have at least a part of their surface in contact with air and complete combustion of glucose reproduces produces co2 and h2o as end products and yields energy most of which is given as heat and the reaction is c6h12o6 plus 6o2 gives out 6 co2 plus 6 h2o plus energy but plants oxidize glucose in several small steps and energy released is coupled to atp synthesis facultative and obligate anaerobes can respire in absence of o2 all organism retain this strategy of partial glucose oxidation in absence of oxygen called glycolysis now the next is glycolysis very important glycolysis means sugar splitting so this is scheme given by emerson meyerhoff and parnas referred as emp pathway in anaerobic organism it is the only process in respiration it occurs in cytoplasm and present in all living organisms in this process glucose undergoes partial oxidation to form two molecules of pyruvic acid in plants glucose comes from sucrose the in the product of photosynthesis or from storage carbohydrates sucrose is converted into glucose and fructose by invertase and these monosaccharides enter the glycolytic pathway readily in glycolysis a chain of 10 reactions produce pyruvate from glucose by the help of different enzyme in glycolysis two atp are utilized and total four atp 2 NAD, uh, 2 plus H ion and two molecules of pyruvic acid are produced. Pyruvic acid is the key product of glycolysis and its metabolic fate depends on cellular need. Pyruvic acid three major fates: lactic acid fermentation, alcoholic fermentation, and Krebs cycle. So, lactic acid fermentation and alcoholic fermentation under anaerobic condition it happens, and Krebs cycle aerobic needs O2 supply. now i will tell the steps of glycolysis so first of all glucose is a six carbon compound and it converted into the glucose six phosphate and here the energy is required so atp is converted into the adp now glucose six phosphate converted into the fructose six phosphate again atp is converted into the adp now the fructose six phosphate converted into the fructose 1,6 bisphosphate with the help of atp then it is converting into the triose phosphate that is glyceraldehyde three phosphate and triose phosphate dihydroxy acetone phosphate both are three carbon compound now the triose phosphate is that is the glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate converted into two triose bisphosphate 
that is 1 comma 3 bis phosphoglyceric acid 3 carbon compound it is and here NAD ion is converted into NADH plus H ion. Then after 1 comma 3 bis phosphoglyceric acid is converted into 2 triose phosphate that is a 3 phosphoglyceric acid that is a 3 carbon compound with the help of uh, this ADP is converting into the ATP. So, then after 3 phosphoglyceric acid is converting into the 2 phosphoglycerate, 2 molecule it is and then after 2 phosphoglycerate is converting into 2 phosphophenol pyruvate and in this process H2O molecule is released and then after 2 phosphoenol pyruvate is converting into pyruvic acid which is a 3 carbon compound and here again ADP is converting into ATP. So, this is the step of glycolysis. Next is fermentation. In fermentation by yeast in complete oxidation of glucose is achieved under anaerobic condition to produce CO2 and ethanol by the help of enzymes pyruvate decarboxylase and alcohol dehydrogenase. Bacteria and in animal cells muscles during exercise when oxygen is inadequate for cellular respiration, pyruvate is reduced to lactic acid by lactate dehydrogenase. Less than 7% of the energy in glucose is released. Also the process are hazardous as either acid or alcohol is produced. Yeast poison themselves to death when concentration of alcohol reaches about 13%. Now the steps are like glucose is converting into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate. Then after it is converting into 3 phosphoglyceric acid. And meanwhile this conversion NADIN is converting into NADH plus HIN. Then after 3 phosphoglyceric acid is converting into phosphoenol pyruvic acid and then after it is converting into the pyruvic acid which can convert into the lactic acid with the help of NADH plus H ion which converts in NAD ion and or it can convert into uh, ethanol plus CO2 as well in which NADH plus H ion is again converting into NAD ion. Then after aerobic respiration. In eukaryotes, it takes place in mitochondria, leads to complete oxidation of organic substances in the presence of oxygen and releases CO2, water and a large amount of energy present in the substrate. This type of respiration is most common in higher organism. For aerobic respiration to take place within mitochondria, the final product of glycolysis is transported into mitochondria from cytoplasm. Crucial event of aerobic respiration are complete oxidation of pyruvic acid, site is mitochondrial matrix and ETS and synthesis of ATP, site is inner mitochondrial membrane. Now the next cycle is TCA cycle or Krebs cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle and it happens in the mitochondrial matrix and here the acetyl coenzyme A produced by oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvic acid enters the TCA cycle more commonly known as Krebs cycle, scientist is Hans Krebs. It is better if you open this cycle in your NCRT, you will understand in a better way. First reaction of Krebs cycle is condensation then isomerization. So, oxaloacetic acid is converting into citric acid in the presence of acetyl coenzyme A and citrate synthase. Then after citric acid is converting into isocitrate in the presence or like by the isomerizing reaction. So, followed by two successive decarboxylation to form alpha ketoglutrate and succinyl coenzyme A. During conversion of succinyl coenzyme A to succinic acid substrate level phosphorylation takes place to produce GTP which in a coupled reaction simultaneously produces ATP. The summary equation for this phase of respiration is pyruvate plus 4 NAD ion plus FAD ion plus 2 H2O plus ADP plus PI. In mitochondrial matrix it converted into 3 CO2 plus 4 NADH plus 4 H ion plus FADH2 plus ATP. So, per molecule of glucose 8 NADH plus H ion 2 FADH2 and 2 ATP are synthesized from pyruvic acid. So, this is about the whole cycle. Now, come towards the next topic which is amphibolic pathway. So, respiratory pathway is involved in both anabolism and catabolism hence it is called amphibolic pathway and here fat converted into the as fatty acids and glycerol and uh, carbohydrate converts into the simple sugar that is glucose which will follow the glycolysis afterward and proteins converts into the amino acid. So, fatty acids and glycerols are converting into the dihydroxyacetone phosphate and fructose 1 comma 6 bis phosphate from the glycolysis again coming to the same and proteins and amino acid will go to directly to the pyruvic acid and all will reach to and fatty acids are reaching to the acetyl coenzyme A and then after the Krebs cycle. So, that is the interrelationship among the metabolic pathway. Now, the next one is electron transport system or ETS and oxidative phosphorylation. 
NADH plus H ion and FADH2 are oxidized through ETS and the electrons are passed on to O2 resulting in formation of H2O through various complexes in the inner mitochondrial membrane. NADH dehydrogenase complex 1 and FADH2 complex 2 transfer electrons to ubiquinone to ubiquinol that is reduced ubiquinone basically and then after cytochrome BC1 that is complex 3rd then after cytochrome C that is mobile carrier and complex 4 that is cytochrome C oxidase. When electrons pass from one carrier to another via complex 1 to 4 in ETC they are coupled to ATP synthase complex 5 for production of ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. Oxidation of 1 NADH gives 3 ATP while 1 FADH2 gives 2 ATP. The role of oxygen is limited to the terminal stage, yet the presence of oxygen is vital since it drives the whole process by removing hydrogen from the system. Oxygen is the final acceptor of hydrogen. Complex 5 has two major components F1, FO. F1 is peripheral membrane protein complex and it contains site or for ATP synthesis and FO forms the channel through which protons cross the inner membrane. The passage of protons through the channel is coupled to the catalytic site of F1 for production of ATP and for each ATP produced 2 H ion passes through F0, F0 or F0 from the intermembrane space to matrix down the electrochemical proton gradient and the whole cycle is present in your book where the inter intermembrane space, inner mitochondrial mem membrane and matrix. Then after respiratory balance sheet. In reality, it is theoretical exercise as all pathways work simultaneously and do not take place one after another. Enzymatic rates are controlled by multiple means. There can be a net gain of 38 ATP molecules during aerobic respiration of one molecule of glucose. In fermentation, there is a net gain of only 2 ATP for each molecule of glucose degraded. NADH is oxidized to NAD ion slowly in fermentation. However, the reaction is very vigorous in case of aerobic respiration. Then after respiratory quitone to RQ, the ratio of volume of CO2 evolved to the volume of O2 consumed is RQ. So RQ is equals to volume of CO2 evolved upon volume of O2 consumed. It depends on the type of respiratory substrate used during respiration. For carbohydrates, it's 1, fat less than 1, example is tri tripamitin that is 0.7 and protein is about 0.9. Now some important points are here like breaking of carbon-carbon bonds of complex organic molecules leads to release of lot of energy in cellular respiration. Glucose is the preferred substrate though fats and protein can also yield energy. Fermentation takes place in many prokaryotes, unicellular eukaryotes and in germinating seeds. In aerobic respiration, O2 is ultimate electron acceptor and it gets reduced to water. So this is all about this chapter respiration in plants and I hope you got all these things in just 12 minutes and uh, definitely you will share with your friends as well so that they will get also benefit from this and if you are new on my channel do subscribe and press the like button if you like this video. So see you soon in the next podcast till then just stay tuned with me bye bye everyone take care and good luck.